Revelation chapter 4. After these things I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking with me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after this. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he who sat there was like a jasper and a sardius stone in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne in appearance like an emerald. Around the throne were twenty-four thrones. And on the thrones I saw twenty-four elders sitting, clothed in white robes, and they had crowns of gold on their heads. And from the throne proceeded lightnings, thunderings, and voices. Seven lamps of fire were burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. Before the throne there was a sea of glass, like crystal, and in the midst of the throne and around the throne were four living creatures, full of eyes in front and in back. The first living creature was like a lion, the second living creature like a calf. The third living creature had a face like a man. And the fourth living creature was like a flying eagle. The four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within. And they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fell down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Psalm 11.4 The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His eyelids test the sons of men. Exodus 24.9-11 Then Moses went up with Aaron, Nabad and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and they saw the God of Israel, and under his feet there appeared to be a pavement of sapphire, as clear as the sky itself. Yet he did not stretch out his hand against the nobles of the sons of Israel, and they saw God, and they ate and drank. First Kings twenty two nineteen. And the Micaiah said, Therefore, hear the word of the lord i saw the lord sitting on his throne and all the host of heaven standing by him on his right and on his left isaiah 6 1 in the year of king uzziah's death i saw the lord sitting on a throne lofty and exalted with the train of his robe filling the temple isaiah sixty three fifteen look down from heaven and see your holy and glorious habitation where are your zeal in your mighty deeds the stirrings of your heart and your compassion are restrained toward me daniel seven nine i kept looking until thrones were set up and the ancient of days took his seat his vesture was like white snow and the hair of his head like pure wool his throne was ablaze with flames its wheels were a burning fire matthew five thirty four but i say to you make no oath at all either by heaven for it is the throne of god matthew twenty three twenty two and whoever swears by heaven swears both by the throne of god and by him who sits upon it acts seven forty nine heaven is my throne and earth is the footstool of my feet what kind of house will you build for me says the lord or what place is there for my repose isaiah sixty six one thus says the lord heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool where then is a house you could build for me and where is a place that i may rest hebrews eight one now the main point in what has been said is this we have such a high priest who has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens revelation 
2011. Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat upon it, from whose presence earth and heaven fled away, and no place was found for them. Psalm 45, 6. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of uprightness is the scepter of your kingdom. Psalm 103.19. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his sovereignty rules over all. Revelation 5.13. And every created thing which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and on the sea and all things in them, I heard saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honor and glory and dominion forever and ever. Ephesians 2 6 and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Isaiah 6 1 through 5. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above it stood seraphim. Each one had six wings. With two he covered his face and with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew, and one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out, and the house was filled with smoke. So I said, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Ezekiel 126. And above the firmament, over their heads, was the likeness of a throne, in appearance like a sapphire stone. On the likeness of the throne was a likeness with the appearance of a man high above it. Revelation 22.1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. Daniel 7, 9 through 10. And I watched till thrones were put in place. And the Ancient of Days was seated. His garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head was like pure wool. His throne was a fiery flame, its wheels a burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. A thousand thousands ministered to him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court was seated and the books were opened. Revelation 5 1. And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside and on the back, sealed with seven seals. 2 Corinthians 5.10 For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each of us may receive what is due us for the things done while in the body, whether good or bad. Acts 17.31 For he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. Ecclesiastes 12.14 For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. Hebrews 9.27 Just as people are destined to die once, and after that to face judgment. Matthew 12.36 But I tell you that everyone will have to give account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. John 1248. There is a judge for the one who rejects me and does not accept my words. The very words I have spoken will condemn them at the last day. Psalm 54. He summons the heavens above and the earth that he may judge his people. Psalm 96, 13. Let all creation rejoice before the Lord, for he comes. He comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in his faithfulness. Romans 2.16 This will take place on the day when God judges people's secrets through Jesus Christ, as my gospel declares.
Ezekiel 7, 7 through 8. Doom has come upon you, upon you who dwell in the land. The time has come. The day is near. There is panic, not joy, on the mountains. I am about to pour out my wrath on you and spend my anger against you. I will judge you according to your conduct and repay you for all your detestable practices. Revelation 20, 11 through 15. Then I saw a great white throne, and him who was seated on it. The earth and the heavens fled from his presence, and there was no place for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Another book was opened, which is the book of life. The dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books. The sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them, and each person was judged according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. 1 Peter 4 17. For it is time for judgment to begin with the household of God, and if it begins with us first, what will be the outcome for those? Who do not obey the gospel of God. Romans 14, 12. So then, each one of us will give an account of himself to God. James 2, 13. For judgment will be merciless to one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Matthew 12, 36. But I tell you that every careless word that people speak, they shall give an accounting for it in the day of judgment. Ecclesiastes 11.9. Rejoice, young men, during your childhood, and let your heart be pleasant during the days of young manhood, and follow the impulses of your heart and the desires of your eyes. Yet know that God will bring you to judgment for all these things. 1 John 4.17. By this, love is perfected with us, so that we may have confidence in the day of judgment, because as he is, so also are we in this world? 1 Corinthians 6 3. Do you not know that we will judge angels? How much more matters of this life? Daniel 7 22. Until the Ancient of Days came, and judgment was passed in favor of the saints of the Highest One, and the time arrived when the saints took possession of the kingdom. 2 Peter 3 7. But by his word, the present heavens and earth are being reserved for fire kept for the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men. 1 Corinthians 3.13 Each man's work will become evident, for the day will show it because it is to be revealed with fire, and the fire itself will test the quality of each man's work. 1 Timothy 5.24 The sins of some men are quite evident, going before them to judgment. For others, their sins follow after. Zephaniah 1.14 Near is the great day of the Lord, near and coming very quickly. Listen to the day of the Lord. In it the warrior cries out bitterly. Mark 13.32 But of that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but the Father alone. Psalm 1.5 Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. 2 Thessalonians 1, 5. This is a plain indication of God's righteous judgment, so that you will be considered worthy of the kingdom of God, for which indeed you are suffering. Romans 2, 6. Who will render to each person according to his deeds. 2 Peter 2, 4. For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but cast them into hell and committed them to pits of darkness, reserved for judgment. Matthew 7, 2. For in the way you judge, you will be judged, and by your standard of measure, it will be measured to you. 1 Peter 4, 5. But they will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. Revelation fourteen seven. And he said with a loud voice, 
fear god and give him glory because the hour of his judgment has come worship him who made the heaven and the earth and sea and springs of water daniel twelve two many of those who sleep in the dust of the ground will awake these to everlasting life but the others to disgrace and everlasting contempt matthew three twelve his winnowing fork is in his hand and he will thoroughly clear his threshing floor and he will gather his wheat into the barn but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire matthew seven twenty two through twenty three many will say to me on that day lord lord did we not prophesy in your name and in your name cast out demons and in your name perform many miracles and then i will declare to them i never knew you depart from me you who practice lawlessness matthew ten fourteen through fifteen whoever does not receive you nor heed your words as you go out of that house or that city shake the dust off your feet truly i say to you it will be more tolerable for the land of saddam and gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city matthew twelve thirty six through thirty seven but i tell you that every careless word that people speak they shall give an accounting for it in the day of judgment for by your words you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned matthew twelve forty one through forty two the men of nineveh will stand up with this generation at the judgment and will condemn it because they repented at the preaching of jonah and behold something greater than jonah is here the queen of the south will rise up with this generation at the judgment and will condemn it because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of solomon and behold something greater than solomon is here matthew thirteen thirty allow both to grow together until the harvest and in the time of harvest i will say to the reapers first gather the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them up but gather the wheat into my barn matthew thirteen forty through forty three so just as the tares are gathered up and burned with fire so shall it be at the end of the age the son of man will send forth his angels and they will gather out of his kingdom all stumbling blocks and those who commit lawlessness and will throw them into the furnace of fire in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth then the righteous will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of the father he who has ears let him hear matthew thirteen forty nine through fifty so it will be at the end of the age the angels will come forth and take out the wicked from among the righteous and will throw them into the furnace of fire in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth matthew sixteen twenty seven for the son of man is going to come in the glory of his father with his angels and will then repay every man according to his deeds luke twelve two through five but there is nothing covered up that will not be revealed and hidden that will not be known accordingly whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light and whatever you have whispered in the inner rooms will be proclaimed upon the housetops i say to you my friends do not be afraid of those who kill the body and after that have no more that they can do but i will warn you whom to fear fear the one who after he has killed has authority to cast into hell yes i tell you fear him luke thirteen twenty four through twenty nine strive to enter through the narrow door for many i tell you will seek to enter and will not be able once the head of the house gets up and shuts the door and you begin to stand outside and knock on the door saying lord open up to us then he will answer and say to you i do not know where you are from then you will begin to say we ate and drank in your presence and you taught in our streets and he will say i tell you i do not know where you are from depart from me all you evildoers in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see abraham and isaac and jacob in all the prophets in the kingdom of god but yourselves being thrown out and they will come from east and west and from north and south and will recline at the table in the kingdom of god john five twenty two for not even the father judges any one but he has given all judgment to the son john twelve forty eight he who rejects me and does not receive my sayings has one who judges him the word i spoke is what will judge him at the last day
Acts 2, 19 through 21. And I will grant wonders in the sky above, in signs on the earth below, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and glorious day of the Lord shall come. And it shall be that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Acts 10, 42. And he ordered us to preach to the people and solemnly to testify that this is the one who has been appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. Romans 2, 5 through 10. But because of your stubbornness and unrepentant heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God who will render to each person according to his deeds. To those who by perseverance in doing good seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life, but to those who are selfishly ambitious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, wrath and indignation, there will be tribulation and distress for every soul of man who does evil. Of the Jew first, and also of the Greek. But glory and honor and peace to everyone who does good, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Romans 2, 12 through 16. For all who have sinned without the law will also perish without the law, and all who have sinned under the law will be judged by the law. For it is not the hearers of the law who are just before God, but the doers of the law would be justified. For when Gentiles who do not have the law do instinctively the things of the law, these not having the law, are a law to themselves, in that they show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience bearing witness, and their thoughts alternately accusing or else defending them. On the day when, according to my gospel, God will judge the secrets of men through Christ Jesus. Romans fourteen ten through 12 But you, why do you judge your brother? Or you again, why do you regard your brother with contempt? For we will all stand before the judgment seat of God, for it is written, As I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall give praise to God. So then each one of us will give an account of himself to God. 2 Timothy 4 8. In the future there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who loved his appearing. Hebrews 2, 2-3 For if the word spoken through angels proved unalterable, and every transgression and disobedience received a just penalty, how will we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? After it was at the first spoken through the Lord, it was confirmed to us by those who heard. Hebrews ten twenty six through thirty. For if we go on sinning willfully after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a terrifying expectation of judgment and the fury of a fire which will consume the adversaries. Anyone who has set aside the law of Moses dies without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. How much severer punishment do you think he will deserve who has trampled underfoot the Son of God and has regarded as unclean the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified and has insulted the Spirit of grace? For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. First Peter 4 5. But they will give account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. 2 Peter 2 9. Then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from temptation and to keep the unrighteous under the punishment for the day of judgment. 2 Peter 3 7. But by his word, the present heavens and earth are being reserved for fire, kept for the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men. 2 Peter 3, 10-12 But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, in which the heavens will pass away with a roar, and the elements will be destroyed with intense heat, and the earth and its works will be burned up. Since all these things are to be destroyed in this way, what sort of people ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of the God, the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be destroyed by burning? 
and the elements will melt with intense heat. Revelation 1-7 Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all the tribes of the earth will mourn over him. So it is to be. Amen. Revelation 11:18 And the nations were enraged and your wrath came and the time came for the dead to be judged and the time to reward your bond servants the prophets and the saints and those who fear your name the small and the great and to destroy those who destroy the earth Revelation 20, 11 through 15 Then I saw a great white throne and him who sat upon it from whose presence earth and heaven fled away, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne, and the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged from the things which were written in the books, according to their deeds. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and Hades gave up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every one of them, according to their deeds. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation 22.12 Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to render to every man according to what he has done. John 12.31 Now judgment is upon this world. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out. Matthew twenty five thirty one through 33 But when the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate them from one another, as the shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, and he will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Revelation 19.11 And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he who sat on it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and wages war. 